officer, Marcus. I have an important job for you. These engines are no longer useful. You must dispose of them immediately. I don't think you quite understand. You see, it would do no good to kill your trains. We'll see about that. Nature, shortly. You have caused confusion and delay for Brexit. I had not. Silence. It seems that there are many shameful things you would like to keep quiet. Beautiful. And humiliating. I'd see. No, no, I I'll do it. We will do this job, sir. Good. I knew I could rely on you. You shall stay with Mrs. Wilberforce. She lived right next to the railway. Remember, boys, I'll be watching you. Such pretty windows. Mrs. Wilberforce? Yes. I understand. They know. Most exhilarating. But I always think that buttons make a good butchers. And didn't someone say butchers make a good buttons? I don't really know, but that's because we're all stupid, Mrs. Wilberforce. <laughs> Where's that? 
Marcus. Marcus. Good morning, Pat Control. Don't you dare call me that. Marcus, look at this. What is the matter? I expect you to dispose of them properly. Not by blowing up my railway. Please don't swear in front of the pet. Start, I want to know where the money is. What money? The money bill shows us. I never said you would get it. What do you say? You're not getting a penny. You lied to me. You understand nothing. What's wrong? Well, you get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Care of him. Quite right, Mr. Harvey. We've got to kill the vet. Control. Everything stops for tea.